What's up, you guys? You are watching the MTV show, and today we're doing something a little different. It's not music, but it's still heavily part of pop culture. We are here at GIF Fest Singapore with none other than program director Steve Lawler. Thank you so uh, much for joining us. Hi, hi, yeah. Okay, first of all, let's set the tone. We are in Gilman Barracks right now, mm. but what is all this? What's happening? So we've transformed a sort of empty uh, industrial space into a GIF kind of party and celebration. So we've got about 100 animated GIFs here, about 100 artists actually from Singapore. Clarify, how does one pronounce GIF? Is it GIF? There's a few um, interpretations, yeah. but basically the founder or the creator calls it a GIF. So we've decided to sort of call it a GIF. Yeah. This. Now, when you look at a GIF, you know, there's something really satisfying mm. about how it's a continuous loop. Yeah. Is it hard for an artist to achieve something like that? No, I think that's where the magic comes in. So the, the medium itself is quite mesmerizing. Like you can look at it sort of for a long time and it, and it retains your attention. Okay, now Steve, I understand you're an artist yourself. Yeah. As an artist, how do you feel about GIFs being part of modern art? It's a form of expression that is very popular online and I think as soon as you sort of start to bring it out of the screen and onto big canvases it can really take on a great impact. That's kind of what this is about. Okay, enough talking because it's very distracting. A lot of pretty colors around us right now. I would like to have a mini tour of the area. Okay, great. Well, right. I mean, maybe like we can sort of have a look through the, the GIF forest. So these are like little tiny screens which have a range, a selection of some of the artworks on them. The artists come here, they see their work on big, it's almost like seeing a billboard. That's kind of a real treat and that's where the exhibition can really play a role. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was told that there were over 500 submissions just yeah. from Singapore. Over about a month and another six weeks, the entries just got more and more, you know, like 500 was quite a lot. That's I mean, a lot. There and then was to a boil it down to what you said earlier, like about 100? Yeah, well originally it was supposed to be 50, but we didn't want to be too brutal. We thought, you know, why not? I mean, it's just screen, we can always just have things on rotation. Okay, I keep getting distracted by what's happening <laughs> over here. You have to take a look at this. Oh my God, it's High so definition <laughs> LEDs. One thing that blew my mind just now is this interactive setup over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at this! Oh, what? I could be here for hours. <laughs> It's probably good to get. There's a lot of people who are just sort of amateur image makers and photographers who have created their first GIF ever. And, and I think that's what's nice to make some of the guests feel like, oh, I might be able to do this. This, mm. is, this feels achievable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the word trippy does not do justice to how awesome this exhibition is. And Steve, thank you so much for you know, giving us a walk yep. through and My opening pleasure. our eyes to the art of the GIF. For those of you watching and you want to find out more about it, but unfortunately couldn't come down to GIF Fest, fret not because you can check it out all online. We've got a website which is GIFFest.com where you can kind to see some of the works and also uh, the Instagram is GIFFest SG so please have a look. Go ahead and check it out and yeah thank you guys I will see you soon. Bye! Cheers!